Welcome back. It's the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM and we're kicking off our South Australian netball coverage with a look at the Western Air Netball Association where it is at Grand Final Day tomorrow. Courtney Trowbridge is absent this week so it's great to be joined by Sarah Evans who plays for Wirrala and is also the umpire coordinator. Sarah, thank you very much for filling in this week. Great to speak with you. How's it going? I'm good, thank you. Thank you, Dan, for having me. Pleasure to have you on. Now, uh, before we get into the netball, I'd love to ask about your job as the umpire coordinator. Of course, it's um, so important having umpires. There's no game without the umpires. Uh, What's that gig like for you? Is it difficult getting enough umpires? A lot of leagues sort of do have that trouble. But yeah, what's it like in the Western Air Netball Association? Normally, it's not too bad, but um, we lost a couple of our good umpires have gone away and a few of us are injured. So yeah, we are struggling this year. But um, obviously, with Saturday's games, a Netball SA send out a couple of umpires for us, thankfully, so that has given us just enough. Very good stuff. Good to hear. Well, let's get into the action. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's not the best week to get you on because you're a Wirrala player, and we're talking about a Wirrala prelim final loss. It was the Hawks getting up last week, 48-39 to at Thevenard. Uh, and that takes us to the grand final this week between the Hawks and the Tigers, who have been the top two teams all year. But uh, you weren't playing last weekend, but what was the game like from a Wirrala point of view? The girls I've heard, they kept up all game. There was only probably three or four goals in it until the last five minutes where Wirrala made a couple of changes to to try something different. Um, I think Hawks then come away with it. That made the margin a bit bigger. So, yeah, well done to the girls. A good effort by Wirrala, but they bow out in at the prelim final. So that was a rematch of last year's grand final, but this year it's been all Western United. They've surged ahead of everyone else. They're looking to cap off a perfect season with a grand final win tomorrow. What sort of a challenge do you think the Hawks will pose? They've come close to Westies a few times this year, but obviously, uh, naturally, given that the Tigers are undefeated, the Hawks haven't been able to get over the top of them uh, at all this year yet, but they have been close. So how do you rate their chances tomorrow? Look, I think Hawks are in for a really good chance. They just need to capitalise on any of their turnovers and uh, get their goals in. Uh, Western United are super fit, so that's where they're going to win the game. They're going to run out the game with their fitness. All right. It's going to be an interesting game. Uh, What do you think about the... Are you expecting to see any positional changes or uh, any coaching chess matches? I've mentioned this with... uh, A few of our sporting correspondents through the weeks, it's always an interesting dynamic when the teams that play off in the grand final are the two teams that played in the first week of finals. And that's what we saw with Westies beating the Hawks 46-43 to uh, two weekends ago. So the Hawks have had a good look at them. They sort of know what they need to do differently. Do you think there's anything that the coach will be uh, doing, moving the magnets around or anything like that? Look, probably how they finished up in the second semi was was their strongest side with some great defensive pressure on, obviously, Durrani being a a nice, tall goalie. I think the Hawks goalies can probably put a little bit more into the game and then, as I say, it could be anyone's game. And Sarah, I'm not sure if you've ever been a part of a team that's on the cusp of an undefeated premiership season, but... Do you reckon there's any pressure on Westies knowing that they're one win away from uh, pulling off such an extraordinary feat? Oh, yes, there's definitely pressure. Most of their wins, you know, they haven't been big blowouts. So, yeah, yeah, it'd be pressure to, you know, win, to try and win having been undefeated. It's nervous, <laughs> nerve-wracking. It would be very nerve-wracking. It just adds that little element of pressure. But the way they've uh, dominated everyone all year and even in those close games, like you said, Westies have always managed to come out on top. So they will be very, very tough to top. It's going to be a thrilling grand final at Kniba tomorrow. Uh, And Sarah, who else is playing on the day? Obviously, we've got um, lower grades and we've got juniors. Uh, How well represented are all the clubs across the association? Well, Western United and West Coast Hawks are obvi- have quite a few teams in. So in the B grade, it's Western United versus Thevenard. In C grade, it's West Coast Hawks versus Thevenard. In D grade, it's Western United versus West Coast Hawks. In Junior A, it's Western United versus West Coast Hawks. So that's our under-15s. And our Junior B, which is under-13s, is the Junior Blues versus Western United. And Junior C, which I think is our under-11s, West Coast Hawks versus Thevenard. 
All right, good to see uh, some other teams represented, but it's an awful lot of Western United Tigers and West Coast Hawks, so uh, it's going to be a big grand final day at Kniba tomorrow. And just before you go, Sarah, what's this uh, venue like for the players? Are we talking indoor courts, outdoor courts? Uh, They're outdoor courts. Uh, The courts themselves, they're good to play on. Uh, The grounds around it get a bit muddy if it's raining, so hopefully this little bit sprinkles either buckets down quickly and then goes away or yeah just holds off until after the game all right should be interesting to see how that all plays out and it's going to be a thrilling day of netball at Kniba for grand final day in the western air netball association sarah enjoy the day thank you very much for filling in on our report today it's been great speaking with you and i'm sure we'll speak again sometime in the future excellent thank you very much for that dan